Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to my HTML5 and CSS3 tutorial series reboot. In this series, we are going to learn how to create websites using HTML5 and CSS3, which in case you guys didn't know, are the languages that websites are written in. Now, I'm going to be recording this series as if you, the viewer, has had no previous experience in HTML or CSS before. So if you are a complete beginner, then don't worry, you found the right series. You can continue watching from here and you'll do great. Okay? And if you guys do have a little bit of experience with HTML, then you know you could carry on watching just for some revision or you could join in later on when we start talking about some more complicated stuff. So because this is a tutorial series reboot, I have to mention to you guys that I do have another HTML series on my channel at the moment and I don't want you to confuse the two. Okay, the older one is going to have a different thumbnail to this new series. So the older series will have a dark blue checkered thumbnail as the background and the new series is going to have a flat light blue background on the thumbnail. Now the difference between the two series is that my old series was recorded on my old computer with an old mic and a smaller screen so the quality of those tutorials are just really bad and I really wanted to redo them to improve on the quality of the tutorials on my channel. Okay, so that's why I'm making a new series. And if you guys want to follow this new series, then just make sure you follow all the same thumbnails. So to get started with this series, there are two things that you guys are going to have to download or maybe you've already got them on your computer. Okay, and the first thing we need is a good text editor. So the text editor that I use is Notepad++ and it's a good one. I would recommend if you're following along with my tutorials that you download that and I will show you how to download that in just a moment. And then the second thing that we need or that you guys need is a good browser. Now I use Firefox but if you guys want to use Chrome that's up to you. They both work equally as well. Okay. But just make sure you're not using something like Internet Explorer or, uh, you know, some older browser. Okay, so let's take a look at installing Notepad++. Now, what I'm going to do is just open up my browser. And I'm going to Google Notepad++. Okay, so you can see that I've got this link that shows up at the top here, which I'll click. And that's going to take me straight to the download page for Notepad++. Now, of course, I want the latest version, which at this moment in time is version 6.5.3. But if you're watching this uh, like six months from now, there's probably going to be a newer version. So whatever it is, just download the latest version. So I'm going to go ahead and click download and I'm going to click save. Now, it's probably worth mentioning that if you guys are using a Mac, then Notepad++ will not work on your computer and you're going to have to download something like Text Wrangler or some other alternative. Now that doesn't mean you won't be able to follow along with my tutorials. It just means that you'll be typing in a text editor that looks different to mine. Okay. So I would go ahead and just Google a few other options and see what you can come up with and uh, go from there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click install here. So, yep, I'm going to save this and I'm going to run it. You guys probably weren't able to see that message that I just clicked on, by the way. Uh, it was like that Windows uh, message. But anyways... Okay, so please select a language. I'm English, so I'm just going to go ahead and click English. Uh, next, 
And I mean, you guys pretty much know how to install a program. So we'll obviously uh, read through all of this stuff. Just make sure that we don't sign our life away. Go ahead and click I agree. Uh, destination folder, that's fine. And we'll go ahead and just leave everything as default. Go ahead and click next. And I want a desktop shortcut, so I'll go ahead and I'll tick that. Make sure that uh, you're not installing any malware or anything. That's the most important or most irritating part about installing new software, which fortunately Notepad++ doesn't have any malware, so I'm we're lucky. Go ahead and click uh, Run Notepad. We'll go ahead and finish this. Okay, so now you can see that Notepad++ is open on my screen, and uh, this is just the change log. So what's new? Whoops. So this is just telling us what's new in this version. Uh, and we can go ahead and close that because um, there's nothing really interesting there for now. Okay, so now we can actually start writing our code. But I think I'm gonna save that for the next tutorial. So uh, guys, get keen to learn how to write websites and uh, come back in the next tutorial where we'll actually start writing some code. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, give the video a thumbs up, or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.